So right now we are going to discuss how to model all of your pieces except the knight and the rook. For those of you who don't know, the knight is the the hossy and the rook is the castle. So I'm going to press spacebar and what we're going to do is we're going to put a background image on here. But instead of putting a, uh, a texture on a plane, we can add what's called an image plane. So the top of my viewport, um, and I want a side view here, so this view will be great. So I'm going to go to view, go down to image plane, and then import image. So you should have already downloaded um, just some chess pieces like this. This is a good example. And when I bring that in, I have my chess pieces. So with the image plane selected, I can go into my attribute editor and this alpha gain right here under the image plane attributes I can just decrease this because I want to be able to see what I'm actually making. Cool. If I want to move it up I can. Don't have to. Let's make it a little darker. Alright. I'm going to press spacebar to blow up that viewport. And if I go to curves and surfaces. I can click this. This is my EP curve tool. So I am going to actually, whichever one I'm making, let's say I'm doing the pawn. This dark vertical line, I'm going to cut this pawn in half. So that's about right because I'm only going to model um, half of it and we're going to revolve this curve. So I'm going to get that tool out. I can zoom in here, and then this kind of works like a Bezier curve. So if I left click, and then I can left click over here, left click, and it does this swooping curve. So for something tight like this, I'm going to need at least three points. So I'm going to make one here, and then I'm going to need, so one, two, and three is where I'm going. Two and three, and it doesn't have to be perfect. But if we want a nice smooth curve, we need three points. And just swoop it on down. That's great. If I want a sharp edge, just add one. I'll have to, I can middle mouse click and drag which one I'm on. Let's come this way. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. Cool, so I'm going to get my selection tool out. If I hold right click, I can go to curve point. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Let's do control vertex. So then I can pick and adjust. So if I want this part to be a little bit sharper, like it's really smooth, maybe I grab my control vertex. Well, let me control vertex. There we go. Oops. And then I could pull this down and maybe pull this one up if I wanted to. So I can adjust the shape like that. Like I said, we only want half of it because we are going to revolve this curve. So I'm going to press spacebar to go to my perspective view so we can see what's going on here. Hold right click, actually, I'm going to go to my selection, hold right click, back into object mode. With this curve selected, at the top, I'm under modeling, I'm going to go to surfaces and then revolve. So anytime you got an options box like this, we can hit apply. So I'm just going to see what it does. Hey, looky there. So it took this curve and spun it around. This is our revolve command. It only works with curves. So I'm going to undo that and show you what might have happened. If you use a different angle, or maybe you did the top view, you might need to use the x-axis, so I'll press apply. Mine spins like that, and that ain't going to work. And z looks like this, so I know y is what I'm looking for. Um, maybe I only want a partial shape, so it did about half. I can change that if I want, but I want... Start angle here, end angle 360. 
this is my segment, so if I have lots of segments and hit apply, makes sense. There's more segments. I'm just undoing this to show you the different options. I think default was eight. Cool. But we want polygons. And I'm going to pick quads. Looks great. Let me hit apply. And then I have something like this. But notice that it is black. So I can go up to mesh display and reverse. All I did was just flip the normals. Basically, each face, it was pointing the wrong way. So I flipped it around. And I have one pawn that's all done. Um, so obviously, this will work for all your pawns, <clears throat> your queen. Depending upon what your king looks like, you could do the revolve command for the king and add a cross on top, whatever you'd like. Will not work for your knight. And you'll use it partially for your rook. Um, yeah, your rook, I'm sorry. And we'll do the cutouts. It'll work for the bishop as well. We can also do the little cutout. But that is our revolve command. I can close that. And then for the rest of my pawns, I can duplicate if I want to.